audio on the iPad. And this works for the iPhone too. We're going to use two different apps to do that. The first one is the Dolphin web browser. And the difference is between Dolphin and the native Safari app browser is that uh, Dolphin's going to let you download files such as MP3 files or audio files uh, that you can then open in different applications. One of those applications being the next one we're going to look at is Tempo Slow Mo. And that's going to be the app that we'll use to uh, slow down the audio. So let's go into uh, Dolphin Web Browser. And for example, let's say you're learning, to, uh, learning Chinese language and you want to slow down audio. Uh, perhaps a Bible reading in Chinese so that you can understand it and be able to repeat those same words in Chinese. So we're going to download a Bible verse, actually a chapter here. We'll go over to actually publications. We'll go into Bible. We'll change the language to Chinese. Just start typing in Chinese here. And it'll come up with simplified Chinese. And we'll click on MP3. Here we'll see the different books, the 66 books of the Bible. We'll go into Genesis, let's just say for example. Now here, instead of just playing the chapter, we actually want to tap and hold on the chapter link. Then we're going to say save link and this is going to download the mp3. We have a chance to rename it here if we want. But we'll just say download. And you'll see here at the bottom of the browser it's downloading. We'll click on that and we'll see the download progression. Now once it's downloaded we'll hit open in and we'll say open in tempo slow. Click that. And now we have our Chinese reading of Genesis chapter 1. So we'll uh, go ahead. You can switch between uh, screens here and we'll explain that in a minute. But as I'm sliding my finger across the screen, it's switching screens. Now this screen, which just has the play button and the ring or the circle, is going to be our uh, basically our tempo controller. So we'll hit play. So you can hear it, the reading here. Now as we move our finger, I'm going to tap and slide my finger around the ring and it's slowing down the reading. Let's go to a 60%. You can see a little bit of distortion now as we reach 60%. If we go even slower, you'll hear uh, some more distortion. Now I'm going to pause it again here. So you want to keep it maybe around 60%. Uh, that's right where the distortion starts. Um, this will allow you to hear clearly the audio, uh, but still um, be able to slow it down and listen. Now on the other screen, I'm going to swipe my finger here to the right, and on the left-hand side of the screen, we've got our time. Here we can rewind the track. If we want to start over, we can fast forward just by moving my finger around. Hit play. We can also, if we want to f focus on uh, particular parts of a track, we can use the markers down at the bottom of our screen here. And the, re the way I did that was you can switch between volume and markers. Now markers allow us to just focus on a particular portion of a track. For example, here on uh, second number 29, I'll hit the start and it'll say this is where we'll start. And now I'll fast forward to... Let's just go to 35 and I'll hit stop. Now it's going to loop between those two markers. So if I go back to 29, hit play.
So you see how it, uh, and when it reached the 35 second mark, uh, it skipped back to 29. So pretty nice way to be able to practice a new language uh, by listening to a reading. Um, again, tempo, slow-mo. Uh, this is the app that allows us to change the speed or the tempo of our MP3. And the other app that we were looking at is the Dolphin web browser, and that's here. So take a look, and uh, hopefully this helps you be able to practice learning a new language and slowing down audio on the iPad or the iPhone.